Hello everybody, today we are going to learn how to time remap within After Effects. And this is um, the basic layout that you're going to be looking at. You, um, you might have a slightly different um, layout depending on what version you're using. This is CC 2014 that I'm in. And what you're going to want to do is you want to import your footage here. Uh, there are many videos showing you how to do that, uh, but you can double click on this box right here in the project window double click on the box and import your footage. So right now I'm using um, some video from Beyond Slow Motion and it's the skateboarding video and then I have a copyright free song. And what you wanna do is you wanna take your footage and you wanna just drag it down to this so you can make a new composition based off of this clip. Right now I'm editing in quarter so it might look a little grainy. Actually I'm gonna do third. But this is the resolution uh, for the preview. It will come out looking clean like full quality but for now I'm going to edit in third and then I'm going to drag down my song and I'm going to put it right there. And you can see you have some toggleable items right here. And I'm going to turn off the audio for this this video. We're going to rename this uh, main video. And this will be renamed to audio. Oops, audio. And uh, if you were to click on the audio and hit LL on the keyboard really quickly, you can see it brings up the waveform and you can you know see where in the waveform that you would like to um, you know trim to I'm gonna go to around here and you can use the, con the the shortcut command or control shift D and then you click on the first part and delete it and then we're gonna go back to the home click on the audio and hit the uh, in bracket to nudge it up here perfectly instead of having to drag it and then for the video, I'm going to go to the part where it's in slowest motion. Not here. Um, actually, I can show. I'll go right here. And I will nudge it. So right now I'm just setting up my clips. And I'm going to just take this one. And then I'm going to go. And I'm going to use this part right here because it's a really, really cool shot. And then what you want to do is when you have your cursor, you hold shift and you can move it and it will automatically bump right to whatever clip or marker is there. So it's really helpful so you don't have to guess or overlap wrong. And just for the sake of no ghosting, I'm going to hit both of those and I'm going to hit S on the keyboard and I'm going to bring the scale up to about 105. Actually a little bit more. And I'm going to drag them down just a little bit, just to get rid of that watermark. Um, not because I don't want you to know where the video is from, because I told you. But just because when we do the time remapping, the watermark will get messed up, and it's going to look kind of crappy um, with the time remap. So you want to you know, zoom in and get rid of what you can if you want. So the first thing I like to do is I like to turn off the video layers, because it makes for easier. It makes this part a lot easier. And I'm going to hit LL on my audio again because it went away from when we split the clip. And I'm going to zoom on in here. And you can see these peaks here are the parts that we're going to want to put markers on. And the way you put markers on the audio, I don't like dragging this marker in because, yes, it is a marker. But if you want to use the shortcut J or K when you're hopping between keyframes and markers, it will not hop to those. So I'm going to delete that marker. What I like to do is I like to go to this part because I know it's going to be a beat that I want to hit. And I'm going to, for Max, I'm going to hold down Control and the 8 key because on my MacBook, that is the asterisk. Uh, if you have a number pad, I'm pretty sure you can just hit the asterisk. You don't have to hit anything else. My old PC, all I had to do was hit the asterisk. And from there, it's made a marker. And then if I go, I'm going to go to this next most defined one, and I'm going to do the same thing. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you're on the audio layer, and you want to just make markers for every beat that you want to make sure a speed up occurs in the song. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm only going to do these four. And then I'm going to get rid of the second part of it. Always save. I accidentally brought that up because it's just a force of habit. Always, always, always save your work because you never know when After Effects might crash. Even on a nice computer, this one has 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's super nice and new. I've still had After Effects crash on me because it's just not up to the computer sometimes. Sometimes After Effects just will crash. So always save. Don't rely on auto save. Save yourself. Every time I easy ease keyframes, I save. Every time I split a clip, I save. 
it's just habit. It's super quick. Com Commander Control S. You know, it's super easy. So anyway, what we have now is we have two clips. As you can see, they're turned off just so I can scrub faster. But this marker is where we want maybe, let's say this first one, we're going to have a transition, and then these three are going to be speed ups for the second clip. So this first one, they're overlapping. So how are we going to make that work? Well, we're going to hit J to hop to this one, and K hops to the other way. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn these back on, turn on both of them. And when we're on the clip here, I'm going to go to the beginning, right click or control click for a max if you don't have a mouse. And you want to go to um, time, enable time remapping. You, you'll see the command right here. So I'm going to enable that. I always do the shortcut, but for the sake of you guys, I'm just showing you. And then you want to hit U to bring up your keyframes. I want to put a keyframe at the beginning of the clip. And you can adjust the dial right here for the, t for the timing, but this is perfect. And then I'm going to go to the, oh, past the marker, I'm going to go to the end of the clip, one frame from the end, and I'm going to hit this to create another marker. And then I'm going to drag this, shift drag, and I'm going to drag it to this marker. And then I can split the clip, the excess clip, and I can, uh, see, I <laughs> try to save it again. And from here, right now, it's just a really rough speed up. It just made it go from this point, from this time to this time in a straight linear line. So if you go to the graph editor, you can see it's just a straight, like it, as if you were speeding up the clip. What you want to do is you want to click on time remap so it highlights all of them. And for max, again, it's FN9, F9. Or you can right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And I think PCs is just F9s. So you don't have to touch anything else. You might have to, or you just do that. And right now they're easy ease. So if I were to go back into graph editor, you can see there's a little, you know, there's like an S shape here. And we're actually going to have to uh, correct this a little bit to make it work. We are going to take this first one and drag it upwards, put it like that. You want it to be a really nice and extreme, kind of easy now. And then you want to take the second one, you want to drag it down the other way. You don't want the middle to be completely flat, but you want it to be relatively flat. You don't want it to be too angled. And then so it looks nice and not choppy, you're going to click on this one and click on it again. You want this line, you want the second one always, because if you take the first one, it's going to look really bad. And I see a lot of people do it, and it's just kind of ugly. And then you also need to click on this. And if you don't have real smart motion blur, you want to click on this and then enable it for both of the layers too. So now when we hop out of this and we ram preview, you can see that it was going, 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 and it got really slow towards the middle. And then all of a sudden, end, it picks up really quick. And that's what you want to do for cinematics or a transitional clip, as you can see, because you know you get the whole clip and it looks really nice and smooth. It looks even better in full resolution. And if you were to do that with the other frame blending mode or no frame blending mode, it's going to be really choppy. It's going to look like that, as if I were scrolling through. So then what we want to do is we want to go to this marker and we want to nudge this up. We go hit U to get rid of those keyframes. And then on this, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take time remap, make a keyframe, always make one in the beginning. And then what I like to do, it's up to personal preference. What I always like to do is I like to move it forward for a while. And then, you know, on this beat, he's just about to lift up. He's right around there. I'm going to just put a keyframe right there and then drag it out to this marker. And then I'm going to go to the next marker by doing the same thing. So right now, it's so right here, drag that out. <clears throat> and then for the final one, it's going to have him flipping it even more. I didn't have enough markers to get it fully flipping, sorry. But as you can see, we have gone through some motion. And I think I can get another one right here. So you can also drag the time. It depends on how good fast your computer is, though, whether or not it's going to be responsive. And then I hit N to uh, bring the, uh, and then right click to trim comp to work area so that it doesn't, you don't have all that excess empty space. And then we're going to do the same thing with the time remapping, except this one's a little bit different because there's more to it. So we're going to easy ease all these as always. <clears throat> and we are going to go to the first one. And we are going to bring this up and bring the second one down, making sure we don't, um, have an even line all the way across because that would be bad. And it gets a little hard the more you zoom out, so I like to zoom in like this so that you can see the whole thing. 
then we're going to do the same thing. And then we go to the next one, and so on and so forth. And on the last one, we just do the same exact thing. There's no difference. It's all easy stuff. And then uh, here is where uh, is a good time to save it. And now what you want to do is you want to RAM preview this. You can kind of see by the RAM preview, you can kind of see the motion path as how it's moving when it gets speeded up and when it's slowing down. Uh, from this, it's a kind of a rough one, especially since these are many seconds apart, whereas most songs, I could have added a lot of more beats in here, or I could have made it a lot more drastic, but because on some of these it was really, really short. But as you can see, you can get the general idea of how to sync your clips. But uh, that was just a basic tutorial on how I do my time remapping. Other people might do it differently, and that's all right, but this is just the way I do it. So. Uh, Hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to do more software tutorials now that I got this MacBook. And, uh, well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.